Hey guys, what's up? Um, now that we have added our new Instagram content, I want to give you guys a quick tutorial about how you can schedule your Instagram posts um, and schedule reminders for that post. So we're going to use an app called Buffer. So Buffer is right here. Now when you open it up, we want to click this plus sign at the bottom of the page. Uh, this is going to allow us to go ahead and schedule um, a post in Instagram. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on to our add photo or video because with Instagram you're required to have a photo or video um, in order to post anything. And we're going to choose our parents set out power up image that we have here. And then we also want to make sure that we add text as well. So we're just going to make it really simple and generic for right now. So we'll put check out Carol Streams, that's our uh, city where our school is located. Coolest parents night out. I know it's sort of generic, but that's okay. It'll work for now. Then the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure we add hashtags. Um, hashtags can sort of make your post look ugly sometimes, so I'm going to show you guys a little hack that you can do. So on Instagram, if I do a space right after I'm done typing, it'll actually get rid of the return button so I can't actually move down a line. So we're going to hit return and then we'll put a little dash and we we'll do that a few rows down and basically what this does is it buries the hashtags um, so that way it doesn't clutter up your post and the focus is then on the title of the post instead. Now if you guys aren't sure what hashtags are, hashtags allow people to search out your content and search out your, your school and basically we're categorizing um, this post so it's easy to find later for for people that are searching for events in, in this town or things in the area for their kids to do. So we give you some examples of hashtags to use in the six week action plan. We're just gonna do some generic ones. So we're gonna do uh, ABC Karate, if that's the name of my school. I wanna make sure that people can search the name of my school and easily find anything that I've posted. Um, and then we'll just do like some local towns and counties as well. Um, so that way moms and parents in those towns can easily search for different things that are happening in the area. So by me, we're in Carroll Stream, Whedon is another neighboring town. I'll probably do four or five neighboring towns, uh, but for the sake of time, we'll just go straight to a county. So we're in DuPage County. Um, so we'll go ahead and post that. I also like doing um, the hashtag of local towns with the word events afterwards. So doing like Carroll Stream events or Wheaton events, or whatever your local towns are. Um, also doing things like uh, Carol Stream Moms, um, events for families, events for kids. I can't spell today. <laughs> um, so we'll do events for kids. There we go. And the reason we're typing all of these hashtags in here in the notes is because it'll save it in there for us. So in the future, when we do different Instagram posts, we don't have to type all these out all the time. We can just highlight, copy, and paste, and it will save a lot of time, especially um, if you guys are doing like me and posting to Instagram like three, four times a day. Um, that saves a lot of time in the long run. So we're gonna select all, we're gonna go ahead and copy this, and then we're gonna go back to buffer, and we're gonna go ahead and paste it into the caption part in our buffer app. And then those dashes will hide it once we get into Instagram. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click share at the bottom. It's gonna give us some different options. The first one is custom schedule. When we're in custom schedule, it's basically allowing us to schedule what day and time that we want the post to go on Instagram. So for the sake of this, we're not gonna schedule it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do share now. But if I were to schedule it, Basically what Buffer does is it will have a not notification appear on your phone reminding you to post it to Instagram. Instagram doesn't really integrate with too many apps, um, so there's really not an app that will let you post on Instagram for you, but it will at least remind you, hey, it's this time, time to post your, your Instagram content. So like I said, for the sake of this, we're just gonna go ahead and click share now. And it's gonna load our post so we get a little preview of it looking good 
and then we're going to go ahead and click open an Instagram. When we do that, uh, we're, we're going to click I'm good to go because it's just making sure that we are logged into the correct account in case you have multiple Instagram accounts. We're just using my Level Up Music account for a demonstration right now. So now what it does is it automatically puts that photo in your library. So we're going to click Next. I'm not going to put any filters on it because I like the bright colors and I think it's really going to do a good job of standing out in an in, in Instagram feed. And then here's the really cool thing. Um, Buffer automatically copies your caption. So all we have to do is hold our thumb here, click Paste, and then our caption that we put in Buffer automatically appears. So that's really nice. And now all you see is the headline at the top um, and it won't be cluttered with hashtags. Then from here, we can choose to go ahead and share it across our other platforms like Facebook, Twitter, um, whatever other platforms you are on. And then all we would do is hit share and we would be good to go. So really easy, really easy to do guys. Um, you can schedule it out for as far in advance as you want. Um, but we're excited for you guys to start using these Instagram images. Um, Instagram has been steadily growing, especially in the last few months. So we feel like it's, it's really important for you guys to um, advertise your content on there as well. Thanks, and let me know if you have any questions.